What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, three belt, unified, WBC, WBA, IBF, welterweight, world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two best pound for pound fighters in the world, if not the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world, and Earl the Truth Spence Jr. 28 wins, no loss, no draw. Uh, 22 big wins by way of knockout. 32 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. Ahead of what is uh, being perceived as the biggest fight in his career against fellow undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO, World Boxing Organization, welterweight world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is the WBO, World Boxing Organization, welterweight world champion, 38 wins, no loss and no draw, 29 big wins by way of knockout. He is 34 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach. Um, the biggest fight in the sport of boxing, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. And so uh, I got tons of people sending me clips of Errol Spence's social media. Uh, and the buildup for this fight, the fans are excited. The media is excited. The boxing pundits are excited. Uh, their peers are excited to see this biggest fight in the sport of boxing. So every little thing that happens every little thing that Errol Spence does and every little thing that Terrence Crawford does is going to be highlighted okay because everybody's anticipating seeing this fight and so we know that um Errol Spence has been training he's been working out uh you know uh we know Errol Spence has stated in the past that he let himself in between fights balloon up and wait and he's not doing that again okay he's he's more focused he's more disciplined uh he's more locked in and he's more committed and so with that said um, because Errol Spence is on that track, uh, we know Terrence Crawford has never let himself balloon up and wait in between fights. Terrence Crawford is always disciplined. He's always focused, okay? Uh, and so with that said, you know, um, Terrence Crawford, you know, uh, is not somebody you question his commitment in between fights. Errol Spence was, and Errol Spence admitted that. And so... Uh, this newfound com uh, commitment from Errol Spence has gotten Errol Spence's fans overly excited, right? And so uh, this past weekend, Errol Spence put up footage of Errol Spence at a wedding, at a close friend of his wedding. And tons of people have been sending me, you know, uh, this clip. And they saying, see, look, Errol Spence is focused. He ain't got that much food on his plate. <laughs> This just beg, this just just shows you this just a testament to how big this fight is, right? So Errol Spence um, in the clip is at a wedding. Uh, I had almost twenty people send me this clip, and they like look at Errol Spence's uh, reel on Instagram. He ain't eating that much. He's staying focused. He locked in. You know, uh, he can't wait to fight Terrence Crawford, right? So you can, you know, he had a, a one chicken leg on the plate as you can see in the thumbnail one chicken leg on the plate and uh you know what looks like he's you know um staying focused and you know uh uh he's you know um he's not uh um you know uh uh he's watching his portion size and watching what he's eating and you know this got the fans to be you know uh excited right and they like see i told you he's focused now who knows what Errol Spence put on his plate at that point in time. He, he might have been picky, you know, looking at the food and, hey, just one chicken leg. It's the only thing I like. And, you know, he, he clearly looks like he's looking, you know, uh, to see what he wants to eat. But the reason I'm making this video is not because of what Errol Spence is uh, choosing to eat or how much the portion size or his, his consciousness of what goes into his body at this current time. I'm making this video because of the magnitude of this fight, the importance of this fight that has fans watching every little single thing. Errol Spence had recently put up on his social media that he loves that the fans are um, excited about this fight, so excited that early in the morning, they're debating as to who's gonna win the fight before they even brush their teeth when they wake up in the morning. He said, 
I, I love it, but brush your teeth before you start debating, right? It's so early in the morning. Well, Errol Spence has to keep in mind that there's fans that work overnight. They already up. There's some fans that ain't, you know, I work early in the morning, so they already up, you know, uh, but I understand what he was getting at. But it's just a testament to just how big and how important and how, um, how high in demand this fight is actually in. This fight is in very high demand, okay? And because this fight is in such high demand, you know, um, uh, uh, it just begs to how important this fight is to the fans and how important it is for them to get a deal done to make this fight happen, okay? That fans are actually looking at the portion size of the food that goes on the plate of Errol Spence at a wedding. We don't know what Errol Spence has uh, um, put on his plate. You don't know if that was the second time or third time up to eat. And he's just like, listen, I just want a chicken and I ain't got no more room, right? We don't know, he made a had a full plate of lasagna, right? Rice, beans, and jerk chicken, and everything else. Fish and everything. Or maybe he didn't. We don't know, right? But at the end of the day, we do know this, is that the fans are eager to get this fight. The fans are eager to see Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence in the ring. We do know that, right? And because of that, you know, uh, it's very important that a deal gets done to make this fight happen. That's how important it is. It's very important that we see this fight come to fruition. It's very, very important that we see uh, uh, these guys come to an agreement because all too often, we had fights of this magnitude that should come to fruition and they don't come to fruition. And the reason they don't come to fruition is because of politics or money the fans don't care about the money they don't care about the politics because they are the consumer so without the fan there is no money without the fan there is no sport without the fan there is no demand you understand so the fan is the consumer and they just want what they want and can you always give the fans exactly what they want no but you should attempt to give the fans what they want at least two to three times a year. That satisfies the fans. That uh, uh, can help put an end to the quote-unquote piracy within the sport of boxing. When it comes to pay-per-views, fans have grown tired of getting, of you telling them that they're going to eat steak and you giving them tuna fish uh, with a blindfold on and thinking that they can't taste and uh, identify that they're eating tuna fish just simply because they have a blindfold on because you're telling them they don't know what they see in the sport of boxing. They don't understand the sport of boxing. They don't understand what they're looking at. They don't know how it works. They don't know uh, how, it, how it works to create a fight behind the scenes. They don't know how it is to negotiate. They don't know business. They know one thing. You put a blindfold on them and you tell them you can give them steak and they accepted it because of their love for you and their passion for the sport. They have accepted it, but then they realize, okay, you're gonna to continue to feed me tuna fish and tell me a steak. No problem. Every time you turn around, every time you, you, you feed me, every time you put it in my mouth, I'm gonna spit it out. Meaning that these fans are now are going to find a way, okay, to have a relationship with the sport of boxing and still to uh, uh, um, be entertained by the sport of boxing, but they don't have to give their hard earned, they don't have to put you know, their hard earned dollars on the line. Period. Period. And so now the issue is they can't, the, the money is not there to pay these persons that the fans are looking for. I mean, that the, the, the fighters are looking for. Period. So this just, this just shows you just how much the fans are in, invested in the sport of boxing, just how much they invested in this fight for undisputed. You gotta, you gotta seize the moment. You gotta catch the lightning in the bottle. You have to capture this moment. You cannot let this moment get away. These fighters are 32 and 35 years of age. Terrence Crawford will be 35 next month. 
you have to find a way to get it done right now. Not tomorrow, not the day after, not even yesterday, right now. That fans are so invested that they're looking at the portion size of Errol Spence's food on his plate at a wedding just tells you just how much interest there is in this fight. Make it happen. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Buzz Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D B C. Shout out to Black Media Road. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.